are a hospitalist. A lot yes. of people don't really know what that is. So define that for me, if you will. So a hospitalist is someone who has internal medicine training. Um, there's someone who has then decided after the internal medicine training to specialize in taking care of more acutely ill patients. So as opposed to your primary care physician or your general medicine doctor, which you might be more familiar with, I instead will see you when you're in the hospital. I then also don't follow patients out of the hospital, but I deal with you when you're acutely sick and in the hospital. So let's kind of give a real world example, if you will. A patient comes to see you, uh, they'll see you in the hospital and they don't have their doctor there for what reasons? Yeah, so it could be a number of reasons. Um, one reason could be that your doctor simply just does not come to the hospital. Okay. That they don't have privileges, as we would call it, that they can't admit to that hospital. Another thing may be just that they're on vacation, that they're not available, or possibly their clinic schedule has been too demanding. So a hospitalist will then uh, come into your case to try to help guide your care, take the place of your internal medicine doctor and make sure that you're taken care of in the hospital. So it must be a, a bit strange, if you will, that yeah. I maybe go to a hospital and I'm expecting to see my doctor, right? And I see you mm -hmm. and you're beautiful, but and I want my doctor. So is it kind of hard to break that barrier because maybe some patients sure. don't understand and, and it, it's gotta be pretty tough for you to say, don't worry, I, I gotcha. Sure. No, I mean, it, it definitely can be a little bit more difficult at that point. Uh, but what I usually try to do is I usually try to make people feel that I'm going to take care of them. I'm going to look at you like you're a person in my family. I may not know everything about your records, but it's my responsibility to learn them. It's my responsibility at that point to talk to your internal medicine doctor, get information as needed, review all the records, and really sit and take time with you and learn all your medical conditions. I don't expect to win people over in the first conversation. I generally find the more that people see me, the more comfortable they feel with me and the more they know that I'm really looking out for them.